Hey everybody, it's Jason from Straight Edge Knives. I'm here with Michael Janice of Spider Co. He's going to give us a quick tutorial education on the differences between the liner lock and compression lock. Uh, Michael, go ahead and take it away. Awesome, thank you. Um, one of the knives that we're, is getting a lot of uh, interest here at SHOT Show 2023 is the Military II. So when people first see it, we tell them that it's got a compression lock. What we'll often hear is, oh, it's a liner lock on the back of the handle. It's not that simple. There's a lot more to it. When you look at the difference between a liner lock and a compression lock, there are very significant differences as far as strength, operation, all that type of thing. And the easiest way to see that is to actually take a look inside the knife. So this is a liner lock. When you open the knife, what you'll see is the liner, the split liner here, engages a ramp on the tang of the blade. But the, that ramp faces toward the butt end of the handle. So again, as I open this, what you'll see is that opens up, the liner pops over, and that ramp faces back this way. When you apply pressure to the back of the blade trying to close the blade, the way that these locks will typically fail if they do is that that liner slides off the ramp and allows the blade to close. So under extreme pressure, that's how this lock would fail. When you look at a compression lock, this is actually an old school, first generation um, paramilitary too. What you'll see is when I open the blade, the liner goes over, but what you'll notice is the ramp on the back of the blade, instead of facing back toward the butt end of the handle, it actually faces upward. And more specifically, it faces upward toward the stop pin right here. So the stop pin, traditionally what it does is it restricts the opening arc of the blade. But in this case, it's also a, a very functional element of the lock mechanism. So when this liner comes over, the liner is now captured between the ramp below it and the stop pin above it. So when you apply hard pressure out of the back of the blade, rather than just trying to push the liner out of the way and skid it off the ramp, what you're actually trying to do is crush this liner between the ramp on the blade and the stop pin. So it's being compressed. That's why it's called a compression lock. When these locks fail under extreme pressure, literally what happens in most cases is that stop pin blows out the top of the handle. It takes a lot of force to do that. So when you look at the mechanical strength of a compression lock versus a liner lock, this is way stronger. From a using standpoint, what's also important with a liner lock, you open the knife and when you go to close the knife, what you're doing is pushing the liner over this way and then for a moment you're tempting fate because what you're doing is you're pushing that sharpened blade back toward your thumb while you're maintaining pressure on the lock. With a compression lock, what you've got is the ability to open the knife and then when you go to close it, you place your thumb on the side of the handle here. You're going to pinch with your index finger Get all your fingers out of the, the slotted side of the handle here. It allows the blade to close very smoothly without ever putting your fingers in the way of the edge. So from an operational standpoint, from a safety standpoint, the compression lock is also inherently safer than a liner lock because you never put your fingers in the way of the sharpened edge as you're releasing the lock. So substantial difference between a liner lock and a compression lock. It's not as simple as, oh, we put it on the back of the handle. There's a lot more going on when you look at the mechanics of the two different locks. Awesome. Thank you so much for explaining that to us all. I know I've hit my thumb a few times with a liner lock closing knives. Uh, luckily, you hit my thumbnail more than it hit my finger. But yeah, but it's yeah. just that moment of uncertainty there. You really got to be careful when you do that. Liner lock is still a great lock. It's been around for a long time. We always credit Michael Walker for his original design of that lock because it really was a, a turning point in the knife industry. But the compression lock, we feel, has a lot of things going for it that make it even more uh, functional, and in many cases, um, more user-friendly than a liner lock. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for explaining that to us. I greatly appreciate it. Guys, go to Spyderco's website, follow them, sign up for their app and their newsletter. I'll have uh, links in the description below. Thank you, sir. I greatly appreciate it. My pleasure. All right. Stay safe, stay sharp, everybody.